Hey guys, welcome back to the Coding Flamingo Hot Dog App series, the series where we build HBO Silicon Valley Seafood App using Blazor. In our last two videos we created the Blazor PWA project and we added the ML model using Visual Studio Model Builder. In this video we're going to use Blazor input file to upload a file into the Blazor and then up to, to our uh, server. So first thing we have to do is go into uh, Nougat Packages and we're gonna download and install Blazor input file. I already cheated and I already installed it so now we're gonna go to Index and we're gonna add uh, the shared models and shared services. I also went ahead and created this since these, these are very simple so I'm just gonna go over them real quick. So in the shared so the, this is a project that Blazor WebAssembly and Blazor and the server can use to share stuff so you don't have to rewrite code. And here I created two things, the hot dog request model which basically will give us back the result of whether or not it's a hot dog and what accuracy we think it's, or it's not a hot dog. And the data URL services, this basically just grabs the data from the buffer so basically when you upload the image it will go into the buffer and then uh, it will create that and then it will just put it into base64 this is how we send it to to our service in the cloud and then this one we're going to use it later to change it to a byte array to convert it into a file so you basically you're just doing a base64 decode um, without the format. Going back to the index, so in here we're going to use the input file, so that's from um, Blazor input file that we we downloaded, and we're going to make it that own change. So this is this is basically just going to create a button that says input the file, and we're going to make it that own, own change. It goes to handle photo selection, uh, which is down here in the code which basically grabs a, it will open your file explorer you select the picture and once you select it it will check that it's not null and then it's gonna convert it into an image. Um, this is poorly done uh, this is assuming that the user is always good and it's not gonna try to upload all this stuff in here we should have checks to make sure that the image is a JPEG and all that stuff uh, don't do it name base, actually look at the file. But as I said in my previous uh, video, all the all this stuff in the client can be manipulated because you can just call the APIs. So an extra validation once we create it on the server, uh, the controller, we should also add validation there to make sure that what they send is a proper file and it's not a virus or something that can affect our server. So uh, that's something that we're not going to cover in this tutorial. Uh, we're just going to assume everybody's nice in this tutorial. But if you're going to production, make sure you cover these bases. Um, that's how big vulnerabilities happen. So now that we assume that it's an image, um, we convert it into a smaller JPEG. We then change it to the memory stream. And then we change it, we use the function that I just showed that it will change it to base64. Uh, so basically this reads it into memory and then we just change it to a string so we can send it to, to our server. So now that we have it as a string, we can also show it as an image for the user to see the image they uploaded. So if you put the image source regular HTML and you put this text, it knows how to decode the the text with the format we had. So if we go back here to pick definition, we can see that we do data, the format, which would be image slash JPEG, and then base64, and then the, the information. So it knows how to render that into an image. So then after that, we're just gonna create a button that says, uh, that when you click it, it does a perform hot dog check, and it's just gonna be a submit image. And basically what it does here, it 
this is what we're going to use later that is detecting to to have like loading or something um which i have covered in other videos adding spin kits and stuff but right now we just have it automatic and we have the we call the post api of the tech hot dog and then we pass the string as as a content uh so now let's go ahead into our controllers we're gonna create a new controller we're gonna name it so now that we have that we can just grab this code So now let's just add the stuff and I'll go through it. So logger, that's just to log our exception that we have down here. In here we have to use a shared model. So as you can see, the models are visible from both sides. And stream reader is just system IO to, to get the information. So let's go through what it does. So in here we're injecting the logger, um, which we only use if there's an exception while trying to get the base 64 image um, so in here uh, when people call the AP, the post API we'll read the the body to to make sure and get all the text from it and we're gonna save it into this string eventually we're gonna change that to bytes and save the image and then run it through a ml and everything but in this video we're just trying to connect the two um, so stay tuned for uh, future videos and once we have that we can uh, have the hot dog model and in here we're just making it up that the accuracy was 90% and that the hot dog was false so basically that it's not a hot dog and now if we go back to our index so we're gonna wait for the response and then we're gonna transform that response into a hot dog result so yeah, now, now let's run it. Since WebAssembly is still new, uh, sometimes doesn't like the breakpoints, but we'll try them. So choose file, whatever, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna use the Zwift, Zwift image. So in here we're gonna see the, the, the data. And the reason I wanna see that, oh, it's not letting me copy it. Copy. We're gonna paste it. Here in Sublime, and the reason I want to see this is to see if we actually get the data across, which we do. But uh, let me just put a breakpoint on the on this side. So right now, what what we have done, we're just uploading. I have to click continue if we want to see the actual image. So. We're gonna click continue and now you can see it uploaded a Zwift picture of me. <laughs> um, so now we're gonna submit the image. So what that's gonna go and do is gonna go and call uh, our backend and submit the picture. So if we go back here, we're gonna click submit. And as you can see, now we're in the back end and we're getting the uh, image information and now we have it and it's 9J4A and if we see here it's 9J4A so we are getting the information through so now we're gonna return and it's just gonna say 99 since we actually didn't do anything so that's how you transfer the information from one to another. In the next video, we're gonna look at actually saving the image and doing some computation in it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.